Now what I'm going to do next for you guys is a don't try at home moment. I'm going to jump the gator and she's not going to want me to get behind her. So that's, that's pretty typical. Got it. Haha, <laughs> nice. Overall, easy gator catch. Alligators are one of the biggest and most powerful predators found in North America. They can be seen almost anywhere there's water in the state of Louisiana, and they just so happen to be one of my favorite animals. Now what we're doing right now, we're basically right on top of the levee here in Louisiana. We've got a lot of levees around here, and it holds in swamp on this side, and we've got some bayou on this side, and I'm thinking we can walk this for some snakes, and we might even see some gators down in this little bayou down here. Uh, I saw a big one earlier, so uh, maybe we'll see some other ones just kind of swimming around down there. The incredible thing about gators is they can live in all different swamps, marshes, ponds, rivers, bayous. Basically anywhere there's water and food, you'll find alligators. And check this out. We've got two pretty decent sized gators hanging out in this little bayou. They don't seem too happy with each other though. The smaller one looks to be about six foot, and the larger one might be pushing seven and a half, maybe eight feet. Looks like neither of them really like the other one being there. So they're both just being very cautious about what the other one does. The thing with gators is that normally you're going to get one huge one that kind of rules a stretch of river and then you're going to get a lot of little ones just kind of piled up and these ones don't seem to mind each other too much. They're just like sitting there like, okay, I'm just going to chill right here and they've kind of got this mutual agreement of don't mess with me and I won't mess with you sort of deal. But if a big one comes rumbling down, they're all taken off because a 12 foot, 14 foot, and sometimes they'll even get 15 and 16 feet, one of those gators would eat one of these, which is pretty crazy. But uh, it is true, and they do get some big gators in here. This is how most of my encounters with alligators go. Just observing and watching how they behave from the safety of the shore. But sometimes, I get a chance to go hands-on with an alligator. That's an alligator! Oh my goodness! Oh, sweetie! Oh, it's you! You're looking at me. Hello! Oh, look at you! Hey, baby! Have a look at you! What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Oh, you're loud. Oh my goodness. Well, this is about a four and a half, five foot alligator. Hello, sweetie. That's interesting. She's probably crossing this little uh, levee right here. What we've got over here is a thousand acres of straight up swamp. And then back here, we just kind of get into some little canals. And uh, she'd probably be crossing right now to get in over here. We actually saw some pretty decent sized alligators earlier down in the water. Hello, sweetie. Now, this wouldn't be a full-grown American alligator. This would be about a medium size. Well, not a baby, but definitely not an adult. Now, what I'm going to do next for you guys is a don't try at home moment. I'm going to jump the gator, and she's not going to want me to get behind her. So that's, that's pretty typical. Got it. Haha, <laughs> nice. Overall, easy gator catch. Check that out, that is a beast of a creature. Beautiful. Now, I don't have to hold her super hard. I just have to keep this under control. And her tail isn't big enough to do any insane damage. So really, the head is all I'm really worried about right now. This is a 100% wild American alligator. This is definitely no pet god. Now, this gator, as you can see, pretty decent size, great teeth. She's got really healthy teeth. And a big yellow eye. She's got a couple of leeches on her. Get that one off right there. Now this is the biggest, biggest predator really out here. In fact, you see that we saw a couple of hogs down there. And that would be something that a full grown alligator would be eating out here. Now look at this. I can actually close her jaws pretty easily. If you see that right there. And we can see how they'd normally be sitting. Just with their jaws kind of shut like that. It's a gorgeous animal. We've seen quite a few of them along this little canal. And this one was just sitting right out in the open, which is pretty interesting. Now gators, they've got serious, serious armor. Like all this is very, very tough. And uh, this is an animal that you really wouldn't want to mess with. You wouldn't want to walk up to it. Uh, if you don't read it right, the animal could definitely hurt you really, really bad. Now the American alligator is really a very special crocodilian species that we have here. And it's very different from the crocodile. 
They're a little bit more opportunistic. They'll eat a little bit more varied foods than a crocodile will. And uh, that broader snout is made from mammals, fish, anything that they can get really. And uh, what they'll do is they'll grab, whether it be a fish or uh, something along the bank, they can pretty much kill anything out here in Louisiana. And uh, they've even had some pretty rough accidents with people being grabbed, but that's normally uh, larger gators that are being fed by people. One important aspect of alligators in Louisiana that you got to understand is that if they're not fed, they're normally not going to be a danger. But when people start feeding these guys, they get really used to people. And that's when a lot of your issues are going to crop up with these animals. Now American alligators, very similar to a lot of different crocodilians, spend most of their time in the water. Meaning you're not going to see these guys out really on true land too much. You'll sometimes see them basking on the bank, but that's about it. They really just do that to regulate their temperature. But uh, when they're trying to move around, normally they'll move around during some rainy times out here. In fact, it just got done pouring, and uh, maybe that's why she was out, I'm not 100% sure. But basically, they're going to spend most of their time in the water, and they're going to be hunting fish, nutria, and the bigger ones will even hunt boar and pigs. Uh, it's a pretty crazy animal for sure, and they are seriously, seriously camouflaged. You could walk right up to them sometimes on the bank and not even see them. Now, she's being really good for us right now really really cool animal now what they've got on their eyes here to watch this real quick I'm gonna kind of touch down right by her eye and you're gonna see this little flap come out but basically it works like goggles it's this little flap that comes across their eye and underwater it protects them against sticks and branches and it helps them keep their eyes open underwater for long periods of time now another thing that these guys can do is hold their breath these guys can go down for like 20 or 30 minutes which is pretty insane but they do have to breathe air they can't stay underwater for too long or else they will drown. In fact, lots of these guys get drowned in nets and anything that tangles them up is going to end up drowning them. Now, alligators are actually the greatest, one of the greatest conservation success stories in the world. See, gators down in the 1950s and 1960s were actually just starting to be protected because they were getting wiped out across the board. Lots of them, lots of them were getting killed and uh, really, I don't believe that their estimate of the number of gators were accurate, but they were saying it was really, really low. So they started breeding these guys in captivity, hatching out eggs, and now you can't go anywhere in Louisiana without seeing a gator. It's pretty crazy. We've probably seen five or six of them just sitting in the water today, swimming around. Much bigger than this, much smaller than this. You get a wide various sizes from these guys, but now they're just absolutely everywhere. Now what I want to do real quick is stretch this gator out to where you guys can get a good look at them. Well, you can kind of get a good view of how big this animal really is like this. Now, American alligators are one of the toughest things out here. Now, the scoots, which are these little bony scales on the back, these are going to be their toughest armor plating on this animal. And then what they've got down here are what's called tail scoots, which are kind of like little fins on the tail. And what they do when they're researching these gators, when they're little bitty, is they'll cut one of these tail scoots off, which sounds kind of rough, but when they're little babies, it's just a little, little tiny snip. So then one of these would be missing on the gator if this gator had been caught before. And uh, basically they, they do that for instant identification. They look at them, they're like, we've caught that gator before, we already know that we've done it. And they also do a lot of radio tracking with gators, seeing where they go. Lots of really cool stuff when it comes to alligator research is being done. And it's an animal that is really special. It creates a lot of tourism here in Louisiana. A lot of people come to see them. And uh, you know, we've got the white alligator over in New Orleans, which is a pretty cool animal. But uh, there's a lot of different studies being done on the alligators here. And overall, they're a very safe animal from a conservation status because they survive in loads of different areas and they've just got a lot of conservation backing from a lot of different people. So this is an animal that we're hopefully going to get to see a lot more of in the future. Now gators, of course, are pretty widespread throughout the southeastern United States. They live in Louisiana, a little bit into Texas, and they go all the way down into Florida, which Florida, they're an extremely protected species get this off. Now we do have another crocodilian, a local crocodilian in North America, the American crocodile. And crocodiles look completely different than alligators and our American crocodiles don't get nearly as big as these guys. These guys can get about 16 feet whereas the American crocodile normally maxes out at around 14 feet and that's a monster one. Now if you have a look at those teeth there, they've got some huge big teeth. She's got a couple of brown ones on top but for the most part most of her teeth look pretty healthy. And uh, what they'll do is they'll replace their teeth all throughout their life. Basically, when any of them get broken or busted when they're fighting or trying to eat something, eventually they will grow back. Normally, it takes about a year or two for a tooth to replenish, but uh, gators' teeth do grow back, which is something really, really helpful for them out here, being as they're eating all kinds of crazy stuff. 
Now one thing is, you're gonna see she's got all these little leeches on her, and these really wouldn't affect her too much. I don't wanna take both hands off her head for too long here, but uh, she's got these leeches on her, and really, these guys are just hitching a ride on her because they can't even really get through that bony muscle. It's really, really a tough animal. Very few things would naturally affect an alligator. Now one thing that's pretty crazy is that cars are another huge killer of alligators. In fact, the highway, which uh, we had to go through to get here, has many dead alligators on it that try to cross. And it's a real shame, you know, you'll see little two and three footers, but then they'll also get sometimes 10 and 12 footers that'll try to cross. And that becomes a danger to people when a gator that big is crossing the road. All right, so what we're gonna do real quick, since she was facing this way, I have to assume that she was heading in this direction from the swamp. So we're gonna go ahead and let her go real quick, but uh, she's been awesome for us. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. All right, let's go let this little baby go. Oh. All right, y'all ready? Oh, it's all right, you're free. You're free, sweetie. Come on, go. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot, baby. Shoot, baby. Wow. That, that was pretty awesome. See the bubble trail? That means she's gone.